Hello guys, my name is Rajveer Singh and welcome to Home IO video lessons. Now Home IO is a very innovative software to learn home automation, how to program your home, how to automate your home. So we are, we are going to see many sensors and actuators in a smart house and using a software connect IO, we are going to automate that. Okay. So if you have already downloaded the software Home IO, this is the full screen when you open that. Okay, so you have to go to new to start your simulation. If you have to configure your graphic options, you can go to options and configure your video options, audio options, controls, localization and permissions. Okay, more details you'll find in the manual of Homeio, which is attached in the course. Alright, so when you go to new, just start the simulation. Confirm. Now when you confirm that, this is the first screen which you will see. And let me explain you the different elements. On the top, this is the time. This is the time of your simulation environment, okay? Right now it's 2 past 37. And this is the bar by which you can increase and decrease the time. Suppose I want to have a night, okay? I can increase the time. This is the you know benefit of using a simulation. You can increase your time to 9.30, 9.33. And you'll find the environment change instantly. You are doing the fast forward of the time. Okay. If you go back to morning, it will take you to next day morning. All right. And over here, this is the this is the layout of your smart house. Okay. This is the section A, B, C, D. I'll explain you the different sections. And these are the different tabs. I'll explain you tabs during the course of this video. And this shows the temperature inside the room. If this is the 20 degree, this color here, so temperature is somewhere between that. It's 23 or 24, and that's the temperature here. So you can see your temperature of the room by this layout, all right? And over here, you'll find this is the date, day, and this is the daylight saving time, zero days. We have just started from 7.33 in the morning. This is the minimum temperature. You can increase or you can change the minimum temperature. This is the maximum. You can change the humidity, and you can change the wind direction. This is the wind velocity. And this is the cloudiness you can see in the top. What a beauty. This is the cloudiness. Okay, you can increase and decrease the cloudiness. And that's the power saving. We are going to see how much power we are going to save using this home IO. Alright, so this was about the different elements being used. This is a magnetic compass. This will show your position. Right now I'm facing north, totally north. This is I'm at the north. Okay. Sun is at the northwest. So this is east southwest. So I can see my location as well. So if you want to, if you want go back to the morning time just take your slider to 7 now it will take you fast forwardly to 7 o'clock all right so this is how it works now you are in the morning this is the morning time and this is the cloudiness you can decrease the wind you can decrease the cloudiness and this is a very clear sky now yeah one one more thing let's have some uh, overview of these tabs this is the date selection if you want to jump to some other date you can do that this depends upon your logic as well then this is the location where you want to be this will change your language uh, latitude and longitude so this you can select your location wherever you want to be okay this will change that instantly next is this is the touch screen tab inside the software you can also uh, make some scenarios in your touch screens and you will get these devices once you activate that that I will let you know later and then this is your remote control which we can use to actuate or deactuate any actuator or any door or any alarm or heater we can use that Then this is a small remote control to open and close the door so let's see what we have in this home aisle so and you can see my position here this 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 green arrow that shows my location in the building so I believe this is the starting point and um, this is a door now if you take your mouse to the door you'll find this is highlighted to open the door just click and drag that's how you can open up and you can go outside the door and this is how it looks now if you want to close the door just click it and drag it it will be closed and you can use you can move around by using your keys I'm using a keys to move left and this D to right W to forward is to backward and if you want to zoom to some area press Z this will zoom okay now you can use your mouse right click and drag it to see and to move like that okay and you can use your scroll to now scroll doesn't work here you can use your left click to play around with the elements okay so that was about how to use your home IO different elements 
and then if you want to go inside the room you can either walk by or you can quickly go by using the shortcuts so let's see let's go by walking so this is the main entrance and this is how you'll find different sensors and actuators installed this is the how you want this sensor to be controlled this red means it will be automatically controlled as it's internally configured and if you click it once it will be green now this will be this will be accessed by your scenario this is a motion detector okay using that you can make a logic which will be understanding later on and if you press it again now it's blue now blue means you can use a connect IO this is again open source environment open source software you can download from the website uh, and if you go to tags here you'll find a motion detector this tag will come only if you are this motion detector is having a blue icon if you go back to red you won't find this tag so this connect IO is linked with all the blue icons inside the home IO alright so as of now let it be red now if you want to go inside just click on the door it will be open and you can see inside what is there okay and you will find a lot of switches these are the switches which you can control that's the heater and you will find this is the siren that's the siren that's the motion detector that's the room brightness sensor that's the password security control device and on the top you'll find door sensor it will sense whether the door is open or closed okay and you'll find these are the lights this is the room lights and you'll find a couple of more motion, de motion detectors at many areas so let me quickly jump to another room if I click on A that will take me to this this is the A block of the smart house this is the B uh, this is some <clears throat> that's the C that's I think I'm in the washroom that's the C no it's not the washroom it's some corridor and then this is D D is the kitchen E is another living room F is the garage G is again a corridor M is, M is the kitchen then you have L this is another room and this is again a washroom J is another room so looks like a study table and then I is another another area of the smart house okay then your edge this is another room and these are the roller blades all right which you can manually turn it on and turn it off like that if you click it up it will be open now this red means it is it, it will be controlled by the switches okay I click it down it will come down if I change this control and use the switch then it will not work okay let's change it to blue now the control goes to connect IO we have to program that we can we can program in our own way now if I click this one it will not work so this is how you can change the control of your actuator this will this you will find in all the controlling elements or the inputs and the actuators all right this is the control for this roller blade so that was the basic introduction about the software just download it if you don't if you haven't till now run this one and you will find it amazing it's more like a game it's like if you if you love playing games I'm sure you will love learning in this home ion connect tile all right I'll see you in the next video to explain you about the different sensor types of sensor what are the different sensors installed digital and analog thank you